Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good. Happy Friday. So I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole 6 9 situation, honey. Y'all have been sending me all these videos of 6 9 and the drama with his baby's mother, Sarah Molina. It is a mess, but I'm here to break it all down. So I hope you guys are doing good. So if you guys do not know, 6 9 is officially back like a damn herpes sore. He is literally the music industry's version of a herpes, okay? He just keeps coming back no matter what. So 6 9 was trolling Meek Mill confronted him in a random parking lot. You know, all this mess went down. You pussy, nigga. That's a fact, you pussy, nigga. Then he dropped his video, Zaza. He used Meek's likeness. Meek's lawyers came and got involved, and I guess they made 6 9 take the clip out of the video. Some sh who knows, hoodie. I just can't keep up with that because I don't care about him or Meek like that. Um, So what ended up happening is about five days ago, he was on a boat. Having a good old time. And so he was talking to DJ Academic. And I was in the live stream with my damn video camera bitch recording. So he's talking to DJ Academics. And he's just talking a lot of shit about Meek and all these rappers and Chicago rappers. And he's going off. And 600 Breezy ends up in the comment section. I took this damn screenshot my damn self. And 600 Breezy says, I'm going to jail when I see you. I'm not Meek. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all go ahead and watch these videos of a 6 9 talking to DJ Academics, getting into it with 600 Breezy. And then out of nowhere, here comes little Reese. He jumps in the fray and they start arguing back and forth, honey. And 6 9 is like, oh, remember when you shitted on yourself? Yeah. How can we forget that was internet goat, bitch? Anyways, y'all go ahead and check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Tough niggas. I think that's appropriate. I think that's appropriate. I'm going to be honest with you. Don't talk tough with the dudes that ain't tough. Yo, bro, listen, we've been not like that. First of all, when you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, six yo, six time, can I ask you a question? Yo, six time, can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah. If Meek Mill had ran into me in the parking lot and I was with, with a girl, what, what, do you think you would have said, oh, academics, ah, uh, nah, I think it was something. What do you think would have happened? You me oh, he would have pressed you. If, if Meek would have caught you, you're a civilian. If Meek would have caught you with a girl, he would have pressed you. He would be like, you lucky I don't smack the shit out you. Right? But if Meek run into a nigga, he know he going to make every excuse. You. If I hit you, I'm going to go to jail. Hey, if I hit you, I'm going to go to jail. When did a gangsta ever care about going to jail, nigga? You gangsta. That's my only angle in it. Again, I'm not seeing the same energy being kept, and I'm hearing a lot of gang. These niggas is pussy, son. Get y'all priorities right. Y'all wanna kill a y'all wanna kill a nigga that's this on another gang, but don't wanna kill on a nigga who killed your gang. Y'all niggas wanna kill a nigga that's this on another gang, but fucking they don't want to. That's a fact they don't want to. That nigga wanna kill me because I snitched on my gang, but won't kill a nigga who killed his gang. These niggas is backwards. I'm going to go to jail respectfully. I'm going to go to jail respectfully, nigga. When I see you respectfully, I'm not me, nigga. And you, you, you got to move around with security because you a yo, bitch, You, you got to move around with security because you a hoe, nigga. You got to move around with security. Real street niggas don't yo, move with security guards, nigga. You, you, never you a bitch, security? nigga. You, you going to die, 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 nigga. You going to die. die. You going to die, 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 nigga. Nigga, your security guards better not scrap all that. That right now, if I'm lying, King Bond said, When I die, my niggas gonna slide every day. Am I lying? Nah, I don't know what song is that. King Bond said, When I die, my niggas is gonna slide every day. Cat, nigga. That shit is cat. Who slid for King Bond yet? That nigga resting fucking piss, nigga. Fucking dumb, nigga. Cause they ain't like that, nigga. How many niggas, niggas dying, nigga? Yo, listen. I'm gonna keep it a stack hey, with you, man. Come here. Look, there you go. Fuck, there you go. stop bringing it. Yo, you don't gotta bring niggas. You tough by go. yourself, right? You Get tough by yourself, right? Bro, put that shit away. Cause when you shit it on yourself, you didn't pull that out. Man, I don't wanna hear that shit. You shit it on yourself, you didn't pull that out. 
Hey, you two internet, bro. No, listen. When you shit it on bro. yourself, why didn't and, you do hey, it? Look, fuck that. Why didn't you pull that like gun out when you shit on yourself? You internet, shreddy. You ain't even in the hood for shit to happen to you, shorty. That's count, yo, man. Yo, bro, I'm, that's I'm too all internet, bro. Yo, bro, I'm in every club, huh? That's, that's too internet, bro. <laughs> yo, look, look, that's, look, that's look, too look, internet, shorty. Look, look, look. And take it from so a cool. nigga, no IG or shit, bro. That's too yo, internet. Yo, bro, what you want, bro, when's the last nigga y'all dropped? Because y'all ops is dying saying, crazy. Bro, come on, bro. If you want to yo, talk look, about no, that, bro, we just keep it Yo, yo, King Bond, look, King Bond said this. King Bond said this. I repeat my God, bro. Who's gonna murder me, bro? Y'all niggas. You too disrespectful, bro, for the internet, bro. I'm telling you, gang. You too I, disrespectful. But, and I yo, ain't even from the O. But them my people. You too disrespectful, sure. All right. Why? Why? Because I'm on the internet? You too so disrespectful, yeah, shorty. Nigga. Yo, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. So when y'all be, shorty. so when y'all dis Tuka, yo, yo, wait. So when y'all be wearing your RIP yo, yo, merch, man, make so sure they make some RIP merch for your yo, ass. Yo, when y'all dissing Tuka, it's not disrespectful? Man, fuck you. We out here. Tuka, yeah. fuck all of them, nigga. All right, so you guys just saw that back and forth. And then later on that day, honey, he found somebody lacking. They were supposedly recording him. He didn't want to be recorded. And he went off. This person was all types of N-words and, you know, everything else. So y'all go ahead and watch this damn. Yo, why you recording now? Something happened. Why you recording, pussy? What happened, son? Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Stop recording, nigga. You pussy, nigga. You just like me, nigga. You pussy, nigga. That's a fact, you pussy. Nigga, when I call when I'm leaving, nigga. That's a fact, this nigga's pussy, nigga. What are you talking about, nigga? This nigga's pussy. This nigga's pussy. What's up, nigga? Now you with all my chains and left all my jewelry. Fuck you, your dead man, nigga. All right, y'all just seen Daniel Hernandez, honey, doing his thing, going off and flexing his muscles. So, you know, it, it's funny until somebody gets hurt. And I mean, at this point, 6 9 has taken it to a whole new level. He's also been disrespecting King Von, um, said that he wanted King Von and many other dead Chicago rappers to, re to rot in peace or rest in piss, some shit, honey. And, you know, just saying a lot of really derogatory things towards these young dead black men. And so, of course, you know, in the street, when folks can't touch the person that they're looking for because you know we all know 6 9 honey he walks around with hella security so because folks can't seem to catch 6 9 slipping they are now attacking his baby's mother sarah molina and sarah is very upset and she's you know very worried because she's starting to get all these threats towards her life and her child's life sarah and her mother that she lives with they can't afford security six nine is not taking care of them so she was like you know she's really upset about this situation and they feel like jade okay the girlfriend that he's been with the one that he met on Nicki minaj's music video he started dating Jade in 2018, right before he went to prison. And so basically, they feel like Jade is gassing this up. She's loving it. She's loving the attention and everything else. And she's hyping up 6 9 because she knows she's protected and so is her child. But in the same breath, she doesn't give a fuck about Sarah Molina's child, which is messed up because that's actually 6 9s blood daughter. This other child has nothing to do with 6 9 She's just living a good life because her mother's fucking 6 9 Meanwhile, his biological daughter, Soraya, that he has by Sarah Molina that child is unprotected and that has you know Sarah very bothered which I don't blame her so this is how everything first went down. Um, basically, Jay took to social media to post a text message um, that she received from Sarah Molina's mother. And Sarah Molina's mother was very upset because her daughter is getting all these threats. So this is what the message said. She says, this shit is disgusting coming from a quote unquote grandmother speaking to a child. Let me make something very clear at my world. You better watch your fucking mouth when it comes to my child. I don't give a fuck what you have to say about me. My daughter is another story. I don't send threats on the internet. You and your daughter, I am at Sarah Molina. Watch what the fuck y'all say. I'm not Danny. Take that shit up with him. I don't do this back and forth internet shit. I'll see you or whoever off the internet. I let y'all talk shit about me all y'all want. Y'all ain't gonna do shit, but you speak on my child. Now you got a bigger problem. Now watch this. So then she posted the message. This is the message that she got. 
So basically, this is a message of Sarah Molina's mom that she sent to 6 9 And then 6 9 turned around and sent it to Jade being messy. So this is what Sarah Molina's mother is saying. She says, you're not even in her life for people to threaten that they're going to smack her. Now, it would be wrong if I start posting that bird and her daughter and start telling people to target them and smack her daughter. That she's the one you give more of a fuck about than your actual daughter. So that's where all of this popped off is that they're very upset that 6 9 is providing security and, you know, financial assistance and everything else for Jade. But for his biological child, it's crickets. So then Sarah Molina posted this. She says, I need a family lawyer. My life, my daughter's life is being brought up and threatened. I cannot relocate. I receive no help financially, no security. I've been leaving paper trails all over as soon as I get threatened, all because of him. So if something his forbid happens to my daughter, fuck me. But my daughter, it's all 6 9 and his bitch's fault for not being woman enough to step up and say, if my daughter who isn't yours has, make sure your daughter has security. No, she's so scared and insecure for this nigga to give us anything, even if it's for his child's safety. Then she says, this bitch ass wig wearing boy would let y'all get hype over him. Disrespect anyone who would or has disrespected him, but wouldn't defend or protect his kid from threats that grown men are making towards his innocent five-year-old daughter. All because he has a death wish and wants to antagonize whoever feeds into his bullshit. He has people that he actually care about in his life. If you want to smack them, but my daughter is not one of them. Keep that energy with his bitch ass, not my five-year-old innocent daughter. I'm on live. Uh She's scared now? She can't handle the heat? She's pussy, that's what it is. She can't handle the heat, fuck? but she walks around with his money, right, on her neck. That's it, selling that's poom it, poom. that's it, that's Two it. Let me, home. shut I up, let me, today. let me say what I gotta say. She's scared now, she can't handle the heat. She's pussy, that's what it is. She can't handle the, the heat, fuck? but she walks around with his money, right, on her neck, that's selling that's poom it. poom. That's it, that's Two it, let me, home. shut I up, let me, let me say what I gotta say. That's right, I for I shake. Let me say what I got in my house, my kids, it ain't just a regular, my kids too are in danger. Y'all wanna throw heat that you can't keep your your man's wee wee shut? Guess what? Ma, stop talking, stop talking right now. I'm about to get high. Cause this bitch playing with me. I'm gonna throw the heat right back at y'all. That's what I'm gonna get. Y'all gonna leave security for life. Ain't nobody, we can't live a life What's in your disgusting court? about my mom defending me and my daughter, you dumb bitch? Why you go ahead, why you go ahead, and you go you ahead. You family, you, you, you was raising for the kids, shit. Shut up, shut up, Get mom. Here, you shut crack, up, baby. shut up. That's why she be so pressed for it, like a thirsty bitch, because she ain't never so had nothing. Let's have, really I talk about it. Daddy's money. Let me, no, let's really fucking talk about it, bitch, because you like to hide behind your sister, you like to hide behind your fucking right, friends, right. you like to hide behind everybody, bitch, but you never, ever had anything to say to me in my fucking face, okay? Let me just make thing, want something, something very clear. If my mom felt like she needed to speak the fuck up, it's because your bum ass boy don't do it for his kid. All right, you dumb bitch. That's one. And you the one that puts the battery the in his back. Shut up. What's the video? No. He laughing at her in my house when I was telling him. Oh, him yeah. Dog. He was laughing at you. Up, we bitch. recorded our That's whole conversation. That loves you, right? He was telling us to kick you out the house when you, he was on when he was locked up. How about that? He tells her one thing and does another. Let me tell you something, bitch. The only reason my mom says something is because you want to be walking around with him and you want to put yourself in danger, right? But that shit comes to us like I'm the one with him. So I simply said, take that shit up with you. You like to fucking put the battery in his back. You think that shit's cute that he's walking around beefing with internet niggas, risking his life. But y'all don't see it as a problem because y'all got all them fucking security. Y'all ain't fucking invincible. I don't walk around with security unlike you and your daughter. He cares for you and your daughter more than my daughter. So I said, if y'all got that energy, take it up with them that they they fucking protecting. Not me and my fucking daughter, all right? Get over here. Get inside. King, come the fuck out of here. That's right. I don't give a fuck. I have you right. shut up, shut up, ma. I don't give a fuck when I have people coming to me about all the shit that your fucking bum ass boyfriend does, and you egg him on. Yeah, I'ma say go get them motherfuckers. Don't come here with that shit to me. You stupid dumb bitch. I don't give a fuck. You wanna put your daughter in danger? You do that. 
You choose to be with him. You choose to have him tattooed on you. You choose to be everywhere with the nigga with your daughter because you think y'all got security and y'all cool. So take that for whoever got a problem with whoever. Got whoever, him. all them Chicago niggas, I don't give a fuck. Got him, got whoever him. got a problem. Bro, whoever, 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 listen, I don't give a fuck. Shut the fuck up. If I ever feel like my daughter's fucking in danger, damn right, I would say go kill that nigga before any harm comes to my daughter. The fuck are you talking about? Whoever wants to be stupid with him, let them fucking deal with that shit too. You felt some type of way, oh fucking well, bitch, fucking protect your daughter like the man. Got this little girl fucking locked up in a house with security and shit. You put your daughter in fucking harm. Your nigga is all over the internet starting war with everybody. And you still got your daughter out in public with him. Should it be careful? So yes, when people want to mistake my daughter for your daughter or think that he cares about my daughter more than you, take that shit out there to them. Deal with that bitch. She want to put her kid in harm's way. I'm going to document everything, bro. Put up everything because if anything ever happens to my daughter, y'all know where the fuck it came from. It came from over there. Those fucking people that think it's funny and take his shit as a joke. Y'all don't want got that nigga all twisted on drugs over there. You don't, you can't, you could tell. Even academics is calling him out saying he needs therapy. Get out of here, you stupid ass. You got him all messed up. You're supposed to be taking care of that nigga. What kind she of don't take care him? of him. Freaking go ahead and does drugs with him too, you dirty ass $2 hoe. Fuck out of here. Nobody knows and make a threat again, bitch, because we ready. Like. And do not get right to your eggs, because I will. Let me tell you something. I have never. Whatever I've ever said about this dumb bitch is only because he don't take care of his daughter. Ain't got shit to do with me. I don't give a fuck about his fat ass, his skinny ass, his drugged up ass, his wig wearing ass, none of that. I've been there, done that, had that bitch. Try again. That everybody likes to get it fucked up. That I still want this nigga when I don't. I wanted him to do right for his fucking daughter, and he can't do that, bro. I wanted him to step up and do that. He can't do that. So guess what? Since he wants to make... This is life, and he, I don't give a fuck no more. But what you're not going to do, you're not going to have people. You're not going to have him defend you, but not defend my fucking daughter. When people are placing threats on my daughter's head, on her life, threatening to, sm threatening to smack my fucking daughter. Try again, bitch. You want to place your daughter in danger? You do that. Like you do that. Like a fucking dumbass. She look like a bisexual. Her sister always talking on each other. I don't care about them bitches, bro. Look like they've had Anytime I ever have something to say, I don't ever speak on that bitch, bro. I speak on what the fuck she be allowing, the shit that she be trying to throw up at subs on Instagram and everything, bro. I don't ask this nigga for child support. I don't even ask him for anything, bro. And why he didn't pick up? Why he didn't pick He's up? He's a clown. He He's pussy. Why He's he didn't pussy. pick up? I've been and, and for the people, right and for the people, ball. for the people, he knows. No, for the the people that like to say, oh, why are you posting this on the internet and shit like that? Take that up with him. We've been calling him. I've been scared here. He don't even I've been ask him. I got him all seen, all the shit that I write. He knows better not to come to me because I will smack the shit out of him too. Show it. That's why he don't. Show Man, it. Man, I got his I've been time. reaching out to this nigga, telling him, to, begging him to do something. Or to put his mother and tell him, him to talk, tell him to chill. Or before this even went insta with her. We've been calling his mama to tell you to chill. I call you too to warn you. You don't keep, you keep on and on and on. You want to bother everybody from the music, hip hop industry to the fucking now. Oh God, forgive me. The reggaeton, his um, thing, the, the Spanish industry. Nigga, who you going to make music with? How you think you're going to take care of yourself? You running out of friends, my man? Or you gonna have this foes? Stupid. He got that bitch amping and up his crazy. They are amping you up. Those people don't care about you. They only with you because you got a dollar. You paying them, nigga. Your security's mortgage, mama's mortgage. You paying for these chicks because they share you. Yeah, I know about that. I know you slept with Batty G first, nigga. You nasty. Everybody knows. And then knows she that. got passed on. You got passed on to the. Everybody sister. knows he Get slept with her here. sister first, bro. Anybody in New York. Ask look how they kiss. Look how you put them to kiss last time. each other. They, they look like fucking bitches. lovers, bro. They look like lovers, not sisters. I don't know. That's my type sister. of incest shit. Is grab that. my sister's titty. Nasty chicks. The point is. Bitch, make a threat at me ever again. You can't, you can't handle us. You I could come over here, bitch. I got something for you. We all been waiting for you. And you're so pussy, you won't ever come alone. Ever. You will send your fucking dinosaur looking ass sister to come here Even before you come here. Man, all I gotta do is sit on y'all bitches. The fuck? Y'all think y'all got family? Y'all think y'all got ties? Y'all think, let this nigga let y'all gas your head up thinking y'all fucking invincible? Try again, bro. 
Oh, I got people that will go off for me and my daughter. Oh, Vaseline, baby. Put it on your face. No, it ain't, it ain't even gonna come to that. Try. You try to up. Bring some type of threat here, bitch. The same way you don't play about choice, I make it very clear every other fucking day on the internet because of her dumbass father, I don't play about mine. Play with me. I dare you. All right, so you guys just saw that video, and it was really sad. You know, it's hard to watch her get emotional like that. You know, I've had my issues with Sarah Molina, you know, and her, and her nonsense that she's done on social media, too. But I don't like the way she's talking to her mother, though. But I guess they got that type of relationship because all that shut up, mom, and shut the fuck up. I can't talk to my mama like that. But, you know, to each they own, okay? Because, you know, the way my mama work, <laughs> I tell her to shut up, even as grown as I am, how the guy smacked up. But that's a whole nother story, okay? My thing is this. She does have the right to be angry, okay? What people don't realize is whatever energy you put out there not only can affect you, but it can also affect your family. And if this man is out here taunting people, taunting dead rappers, you know, messing with their family members, talking shit, like I said before, the streets don't play. And if they're not able to touch you, they will touch your family members. And this girl who's trying to mind her business, take care of their child, who's not receiving any type of support, is basically out there, you know, is basically left out there for the wolves. It's bad enough that her baby's father snitched and you have all these blood dudes from Treyway who probably have issues with her just on the strength of who her baby's father is. Now he's out of prison. And instead of him being humble and just making his music and shutting the fuck up and getting his money and taking care of his child. He wants to go on a hobo tour antagonizing and being an agent of chaos. I told y'all from day one, I was never feeling 6 9 because to me, he's the living embodiment of Pan. Okay, that's all he does. He's an agent of chaos. He just loves to keep shit going, loves to create nonsense, loves to create drama. And the fact that while he's doing all this, he does not care that the chaos and the drama that he's creating is going to solely affect his own biological child is sad. When you're willing to offer protection to a woman and a child that's not even yours, but your own biological child is in some area with no protection and you're running all over America acting a fool. It says a lot about 6 ix character. And for me, I don't respect that. If you want to run around and antagonize adults and talk shit, that's fine. But at least provide protection for your daughter who's innocent in all this foolishness. You know, you could just see the hurt in her eyes and how upset she is. And the fact that, you know, him and his new girlfriend find this funny is just really sad. And the fact that as another grown woman, Jade is OK with her man doing all this stupid shit, knowing that he has a child, knowing that it's putting his baby's mother and his child at risk, lets you know that Jade is just as immature and sick in the head as he is. So I'm not mad at Sarah Molina for dragging her ass and going off the way that she's gone off. And for people who keep defending his actions and saying, you know, oh, well, you know, he brings entertainment to the Internet. It's all fun and games until somebody gets hurt. It may be him. It may be somebody close to him. It could be anyone. You know, people celebrate foolishness. And then as soon as somebody gets hurt, everybody wants to cry tattoo tears. Like, can y'all just rap? Can y'all just, can we take it back to the 90s? Can y'all just make some feel-good music we can dance and party to without having to worry about if our favorite rapper is going to make it, you know, throughout 2021? We lost so many rappers in 2020. Can we leave the foolishness in 2020 and people just stick to the music? Because at this point, it's just getting really damn ridiculous. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on all this mess that's been going on with 6 9 And how do you feel about Sarah Molina coming out? And she just basically snapped. And I'm not mad at her because the stuff that he's been doing on social media is just ridiculous. I don't report on every single move that he makes. But just the stuff that I've seen over the past few days has just been disgusting. And I'm not mad at her for being upset. So anyways, y'all, go ahead and leave a comment. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you share the video. And last but not least, don't forget to hit the notification bell so we can be down with the notification squad. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts. Deuces.